How much is it gonna cost if your client walks in the door and wants a dip powder service with that kind of art, but they want an overlay? Which means you're not gonna do extensions, you're gonna go right over their natural nails, but they want that dip powder service, which is pretty popular right now in the industry. And they grab that picture and they showed it to you and they said, this is what I want. How much do you charge? What products are you gonna use? How are you gonna deal with less length? Essentially, you've got less real estate to work with, but your client wants that look. You've gotta make them happy. At the end of the day, you're gonna charge them. You gotta make sure you execute this type of nail and service. I'd like to answer your question on exactly how much that service is, but I'm not the guy to do that. But I know somebody that does know. Tracy Ryerson. What? <laughs> Annoyed as usual, I see at me. Well, my whole life, yes. <laughs> so, walk me through this. How are you going to uh, engage the client? What products are you going to use? Ultimately, we're going to find out how much you're going to charge, but talk to me. Do I have to? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the client comes in. Obviously, they, they picked Dawn's nails out. Those are actually done with acrylic. She used slick pour, but she used it with monomer. Right. Um, so she used cover earth, uh, cover acrylic, and slick pour uh, body armor, which right. is a beautiful color. Um, but my client, <laughs> bless her heart, <laughs> wants it on her natural nails, which her natural nails are nice. Uh, she just wants a little extra strength. We, we've discussed maybe gel polish, but we've decided that's not really strong enough for her. She's heard a lot about dip powder. Uh, of course, I, my personal, personal self, use our slip pour, and we do it a little different powder coating, but it is a dip powder. Um, and I'm gonna use it with conversion. And the reason I'm gonna use it with conversion versus resin is it's, it's my preferred way of doing it, if I can. And with this client, we almost went gel polish, but she needs that extra strength. For me, using slip pour with a conversion base on top is like gel polish and acrylic had a baby, got together. <laughs> <laughs> we made this little baby <laughs> and so you have that little extra strength yeah. but that flexibility of a gel polish on top of it so amazing um so we're gonna execute it we have a little less real estate like you said right. to work with right. i heard i was listening yes you did paying attention i think the most important thing is just explaining to your client it's gonna look a little different because we're working with less space real estate are you ready i'm fixing it now <laughs> Okay, so we have our lovely client, Sally, who has a really nice natural nail. I've done a little shaping already to her, but I don't get overly carried away because we have to shape at the end. We're gonna start by pushing back her cuticle, and then we're gonna take our medium grit arbor band and do a little prep work. So we're just gonna take our e-file, Follow through, remove the shine. Again, this isn't supposed to be aggressive. It sounds horrible on the plastic, but it's not an aggressive thing. We're just removing the shine quickly. Okay, after we're done with that, we're gonna get the swipe out. We're gonna cleanse that natural nail. We wanna make sure the surface of the nail is nice and clean. All the oils have been removed, so we get a nice adhesion. Next, we're going to grab our protein bond. Now, I do not soak nails off. I use my electric file to remove. So I'm going to actually protein bond the whole surface of the nail. If you're going to soak, just go ahead and do the very tip. I'm gonna do that all the way, all through all 10 nails and come back and do it a second time. Let's grab our conversion base, our conversion top. Dawn used uh, an acrylic powder called Cover Earth. Uh, we have a really similar color. It's a little bit lighter in slick pour. It's called Know It All, or I refer to it as the Habib. <laughs> I like it. Uh huh. She did use body armor, which is a beautiful color. She used it with monomer, which a lot of people don't realize you can use slick pour with monomer, but you can. Um, and we're just going to use it with a conversion base on top. Let's get started. So we're going to start with our conversion base. 
we're just going to apply a nice thin layer over the whole surface of the natural nail. Now I'm not going to sprinkle the powder into this layer. I'm going to get my light, my LED light out, and I'm going to cure this for 30 seconds. What that's going to do is when I go to electric file it off, the product off, I only have to go to that base layer. So it's going to be act as a protective layer to the natural nail. I'm going to go back to my conversion base. I'm going to grab my know-it-all powder and my handy dandy spoon. We're going to put another layer of base on. Now this layers that we're doing are nice and thin and this we're going to leave wet and we're going to sprinkle the powder into it. Again, I always like to start at the cuticle area and work my way up, turning the finger, making sure I'm hitting all the sides, covering the nail completely, point our finger down, tap it off. Let's get this in the LED light for at least 30 seconds. If you watched our last how much, You'll notice their difference in cure times. That one, in between layers, I was curing for a full minute. That was a really dark color, so I wanted to make sure that the light cured it all the way through. This is fairly light, so 30 seconds to set it up will be plenty. Okay, we're gonna grab our base coat again. I'm gonna add just another thin layer over the whole surface. I'm gonna sprinkle Know it all one more time. Okay, we're going to tap it off. And we're going to cure it for 30 seconds. Now this layer, I'm actually going to dust off the excess and I'm going to do a little file shaping right now. There's not much to do, so I'm literally just going to take my hand file, make sure my side walls are nice and tight. If I feel like there's anything that needs to be smoothed out in the back, I can do this. You could also do this with your sanding band. Again, it's just a very light touch we're doing. I'm gonna turn my customer's hand. because This is the way I like to make sure that their shape is good. I can really get a good view of it. I'm gonna look down the barrel, make sure everything is nice and smooth. This is what's amazing about the conversion and slick pour. It goes on so smooth. There's, there's hardly any filing you need to do, but don't worry. If you do have a bump, you can file it out. Turn our hand back. We're gonna dust her off one more time. And we're gonna grab our body armor next. Take our conversion base. I'm gonna put a nice little thin layer. And I'm going to take it to right about the halfway point because we're gonna do a little bit of a glitter fade down. I'm gonna wipe the excess off my brush so it's fairly dry and just pull the excess forward. Once we have that, we're gonna get our body armor. I'm gonna focus on the cuticle area and kinda let it cascade down the nail. I'm pointing her finger down, focusing mostly on the cuticle area. See that? Once we have that, I can tap it off and that's gonna cascade it down the front of the nail. A little tip and trick that you can do is you can get a gel brush out and let's say that it cascaded a little too much more than you wanted. You can just wipe some off with your gel brush. Hit it where you want it, make it look what you want. It doesn't matter. Get it exactly the way that you're wanting. Once you have it, let's get it in the uh, LED light for 30 seconds.
Once we're done, we're gonna pull her out. Take my brush, dust away any of the excess. We're gonna take our conversion top and we're gonna coat it. Another 30 seconds. And I am actually going to top coat her twice. That body armor glitter that we were using, you could see it had some pretty good chunky glitter in it. So I wanna make sure she doesn't feel anything. So we're just gonna cure her out for 30 seconds, do a second top coat. The final top coat will cure out for one minute. Let's get her top coated one more time. And let's get her in the LED light for our final cure of one minute. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of the nails and we'll show you the final look in a couple seconds. Just to let you know, what we did with the rest of the nails is this is straight know-it-all. And then with this, we had one layer of know-it-all and one layer of body armor over the top. And that completed our look. Okay, we've got our overlay. They're beautiful. I think the customer is gonna be really happy. The big question now is how much? 65. $65? 65. Explain thyself. So I personally would charge $60 for an overlay, no matter what it was. And then we did the body armor over that so that I count as an extra product, an extra glitter. Sure. That's an additional five, so it gets 65. What we need to think about when we're doing stuff like this is how much would you normally get paid doing a half an hour service? A fill for me is a half an hour. Right. Uh, I charge $60 for a fill, so this is gonna take me a half an hour to do. I'm definitely gonna charge at least $60 for the service. I love those nails. They're beautiful. You've got yourself a nice overlay. The client is happy. We will see you next week on How Much.